Hello friends! It's time for another story traveling with Miss Gail. Today I have a very interesting story to share with you from Africa. In Africa there is a river called the Congo and the people there in Africa have a story about the river or rather about an animal that lives in the river. You see the king of the Congo River is the crocodile. He grows to be enormous. And of all the creatures in Africa, of all the animals, the crocodile is the hungriest. It will eat anything that comes close to it, except for a hen, a chicken. Really? Yes, this is the story that the people from that area tell about the crocodile and the hen. There once was a crocodile. He was enormous. He was known as the King of the Congo River. To help you see a little bit better, this is going to be our pretend crocodile. And this will be our mother hen. One day the crocodile was laying in the water, his green back floating in that water looked just like a log. But the crocodile was not a log. Up on the farm, not far from the river, there lived a mother hen, and she was always looking for something to eat. Her favorite food was big, juicy bugs. Well, mother hen had wandered out of the farmyard and down the road looking for bugs. She came as far as the river. It was the first time she had ever been down there. And she looked and she saw what she thought was a big log floating close to the shore. Walk, she said. I bet there are some big juicy bugs on that log. And that mother hen hopped over to that log and began to scratch and peck, looking for those bugs. But was it a log? No, it was the crocodile. Now the crocodile had been watching the hen coming down the road, for a crocodile's eyes are above the water. That crocodile saw the hen jump onto his back and he began to roll back and forth, back and forth. And the hen was feeling rather seasick. What is going on, she thought, when that crocodile rolled all the way over. And what should you think? But she landed in the water with a splash. Wah, wah, wah. Hens do not swim well. But before she had time to think, that crocodile had righted himself and said, Oh ho, mother hen, now you will be my dinner. <gasps> oh, the hen was so frightened. But, but somehow what came out of her mouth was startling to the crocodile. She said, Oh, don't eat me, brother. What? What? Brother? And the crocodile was so surprised, he kept his mouth open long enough for the hen to hop out, run down the road back to the farmland as fast as she could. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, what, what was she talking about? Brother? How could I be a brother? I, I, I am a crocodile. I, I, and she, she is a, a chicken. She is dinner. And oh, and she got away. Oh, I cannot believe it, thought the crocodile. He was so upset with himself that he couldn't 
eat another bite all day. Well, several days went by and the hen, well, she kept thinking about those delicious bugs that were down by the river that she finally thought, I'm gonna go down, but I'll make sure that there are no floating logs close by. Well, Mrs. Hen didn't know that the crocodile was out of the water that day. He was getting some nice sun, ah, but he was hidden by some grasses. That mother hen came down the road. She looked out at the water and way out in the water, she did see a real log, but she thought it was the crocodile. Oh. And so she began to dig in the mud and the dirt and to eat those big juicy bugs. The crocodile inched closer and closer and closer until he rushed out of the grass. Today I will eat you, mother hen. But the hen, what, what? Oh, please don't eat me, brother. What, what, what? And the crocodile once more was so startled he couldn't close his mouth, which gave that mother hen just enough time to run back down the road to the farmyard. This is, this is terrible. This is terrible. How, how can I be her brother? I am a crocodile. She is a hen, a chicken. She, she lives on the land and, and I live in the mud and the water. Oh, and, and she has feathers and, and I have beautiful scales. Oh, oh, I am going to go to the king of the jungle and ask him how this can be. And so, that great crocodile began to walk deeper into the forest. But boys and girls, crocodiles do not travel very well on land. <sighs> and it was not long before he had to rest under a banana tree. Well, as he was resting, who should come by but the little green lizard. The little green lizard looked at great crocodile and he said, oh, crocodile, crocodile, what are you doing so far from the river? And the crocodile looked up at the little lizard and he said, oh, I am on my way to speak to the king of the jungle. Oh, why, why, what, what happened, said the lizard. And the crocodile said, well, I was minding my own business down by the river the other day, just waiting for something to eat when she, what should come down the road but a big, fat, juicy chicken dinner. A mother hen came down. She was, she hopped right onto my back. She thought I was a log. But when I went to eat her, she, she called me her brother. Oh, oh, it upset me so bad I couldn't eat her. And then several days ago, I was waiting on the, on the shore, getting some sun, and here came that chicken again. Oh, lizard, that chicken came right down to the mud. And when I rushed out to get, to get my dinner this time, she looked at me again and called me her brother. How can I be her brother? I am a crocodile, the king of the Congo. She is a chicken. She has feathers and I have beautiful scales. She lives on the land and I live in the mud and the water. How can we be brother and sister? And the lizard, let me think. Oh, 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 oh. Please don't go to the king of the jungle. If you do, you may indeed look foolish for I, I am just thinking um um uh, uh, chickens they lay eggs yes yes and, and so do ducks ducks and 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 and, 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 and turtles and 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 lizards and, and crocodiles what what i she uh, we are brother 
brother and sister? Well, didn't didn't Hen just tell you that? And, and didn't 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 I just say so? Said Lizard. Oh, well, said Crocodile. I I guess I guess you're right. And so that great crocodile turned around and went back toward the river. Well, guess what? That mother hen had come down the river again and had she had eaten so many bugs. Oh, so many bugs. She was so fat that when she saw the crocodile coming, what, what, what? All she could do was squawk. She couldn't even fly away. But the crocodile just passed her. He said, excuse me, dear sister. And he passed her right by with a wag of that big tail of his and slipped into the water. And to this day, boys and girls, they tell us that the crocodile and the hen get along just fine, just like family. You know, each of us is different in a different way, but each of us make a great big family. I hope you enjoyed the story today from Africa and that you'll join us next time on another story traveling. Thank you so much. See you later. Bye friends.